Good job, yeah. Whenever the spirit moves, yeah. In summer uh, 2017, I did a volunteer trip to Nepal. So I worked in a rehabilitation center, which is kind of like a clinic, a physical therapy clinic. I have no diploma whatsoever. I know nothing about like help, like massaging or stuff like that. <laughs> but by the second day, I had my own patients. So like the regulation, the regulation are not really the same over there, <laughs> as you can see. But um, so I saw some stuff that was pretty hardcore. So like from stroke patients to vegetative state. So wow. I saw a lot of pretty bad injuries. And even though I saw that, I fell in love with the doctor side of the medical field. Mm -hmm. So hi everyone, uh, I'm Mathieu Flagel, but as you can see on the board, Matthew is fine. Um, I'm 20 years old and if you didn't guess yet, I'm from France. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm fascinated by the human body. And so that's why I made my major physiology as I aspire to be a physical therapist later on. Mm -hmm. So for you to get to know me better, I will first explain to you why this passion came on to me and who are the people that pass it on to me. Mm -hmm. So first, I played rugby for more than 10 years. So first, what, I'll tell you about what. So why I discovered that PT was my passion. My passion. Mm -hmm. So to introduce that, I want to let you guys know that I played rugby for more than 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. For more than 10 years, and it's the sport that helped me grow mature and grow old. I believe I carry on the values that it taught me, which is respect, friendship, and cooperation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound cocky, but I was really good at it. <laughs> Even like the professional pass was something that I admired. Like, it was close to me. I could have gone over like, towards, the, towards it. But you know, there's always some stuff that might like, prevent you from that. Mm -hmm. My height was one of the, the problems. And the risk of injuries too, because you don't have any backup. If you injure yourself, you're done. Mm. That's it. So instead of taking the risk of becoming professional, I just realized that instead of being an athlete, why not work with them and try to make them better and improve their performance? And so that's why the, the idea of PT kind of started going through my mind. So next, I injured myself pretty badly. Not even playing rugby, actually playing volleyball, uh, almost ripped my ligaments from oh, my ankle. No. It's pretty bad, yeah. So when you enjoy yourself, what do you do? You go through PT. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. And I met, I met this old guy, which is he's the one that influenced me. Like, he passed on passion to me. I don't, I'm not going to say his name, because most of you won't be able to pronounce it. <laughs> but <laughs> this old guy pretty much passed on his passion and took care of me. And I was fascinated by how much I improved because of him. And I wanted to do the same. I was pretty much jealous of what he was doing, mm -hmm. and so I just stole his idea, and I want that, that's what I want to do now. So to wrap up, um, you might see me as a young freshman that likes to help athletes and non-athletes to get to the peak performance, and you'll be absolutely right, that's who I am. And so to go back to my, my Nepal trip, it's like the icing on the cake that helped me confirm the passion for physical therapy. 